All right, today <clears throat> I'm uh, setting up a new setup for myself. Um, I just I'm making from two skates that I own. I'm making uh, two new skates. So I have this skate. Obviously, it usually has the wheels on it. Um, that's actually to those of you that care. This is the skate that's been used for Big Wheels, the movie that Joey created. Um, so, I have uh, this skate, which has 80 millimeter rockered frame. Rockered, like that. And then I have this skate, the Trix, which has a lower cuff, carbon fiber shell, um, with 90 millimeter flat frame. So, for the past two months, probably, I've been skating on the Trix, and I really like the the 90 millimeter frame now just one thing this is a 90 millimeter frame but <clears throat> the length of it is 273 uh, which means it's as short as tight as possible as compared to hello as compared to let's say a rollerblade frame and 90 millimeter wheels um, you see it's uh, one second 285 uh, because there's some space between the wheels, um, the frame is a little longer, but on the Sebas, uh, you can see how tight the wheels are. So, what I'm trying to say is, even though it's a 90 millimeter frame, which is commonly known as, you know, crazy long frame, um, in its tightest form, you know, when the wheels are pretty much tied together, with the right boot, um, I don't find them to be too big. Uh, even for myself, that my foot size, my skate size is between seven, seven and a half. Um, so if you're in size nine or 10, especially for you, it will be, definitely won't be too big. So I find the 90s to be still very maneuverable. I still have, can do whatever I need to do in terms of turning and um, whatever. Uh, but it does give me a lot more speed and a lot more stability. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is take the 90 millimeter frames and put them on those skates, uh, which have a plastic shell, so it does absorb shock a lot better, where the carbon fiber transfers energy better, which means you get more speed. Um, but if you want to do tricks and jumps uh, it, or stair bashes, um, the energy is transferred uh, too efficiently which means like it creates a lot of shock so if I do a gap or a jump in those it's uh there's not no good shock absorption and I don't like that feeling so I'm gonna try to install them on those skates and uh, experiment <clears throat> uh, well I do know that I love the 90s I think this is gonna be my new setup for tricks and jumps and grinds uh, so my big wheels are getting bigger so to to those of you out there that are um, think that 80s is as high as you can go, or 84s, um, let me tell you, 90s, 90s are interesting. So, and then I'm gonna take those frames, the Rocker 80, and put them on my tricks, and then use them for slalom skating because they would be really stiff, really responsive, really precise, and I won't be doing any jumps with them. I hope you enjoyed it and took a few pointers from my presentation, and hopefully, um, I guess hopefully you're going to try 90s, because I do really believe in 90 millimeter wheels. Um, I think it's one of the best setups all around, mm, but that's just my opinion you make up your own mind but make up your mind once you use 90s with the right skate with the right frame with the right wheels don't just use a shitty pair of 90 millimeter wheels and say oh those are too floppy or they're not stable if you use the best stuff uh, 90s is a really really good setup for anything <laughs>